Hey, I'm Haley from Paramore, and most recently the CEO of Good Die Young, and you're watching Behind the Brand. Hey everyone, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with the amazing Haley Williams. Haley, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. I usually ask people, how'd you get this job? Oh man, this started a, a long time ago. I was 12 or 13 when I joined my band and um, we were just kids in school, you know? And I, I come from a really small town in Mississippi and I was sort of the only person in my school that really was interested in music. So by the time... I, you know, I was old enough to know anything. I knew that I wanted to sing and write songs and play with my friends in a band. You know, I wanted to be a part of something. So it wasn't until I moved to Nashville I, I met my friends that, that also wrote. And that was like this revelation for me to meet other people my age who wanted to do the same thing as me. I felt less alone. Tell me something your fans might not know about you. <sighs> what are you good at? What am I good at? <laughs> Besides singing, writing creating music? So I, I always, I mean, I really always say Paramore is the only thing I'm good at, but I, I, I think that what I've found through starting another, like starting another business, and it's, it's funny to think of Paramore as a business because it's so second nature is like this hobby, passion, after school thing that started 13 years ago. Like now I look at myself when I'm working for Good Die Young and I think, God, I'm, I'm good. I doubt myself a lot. I still doubt myself. Um, so Good Die Young is your new startup, but yeah. it's not really a startup. It's like about a year old, right? It's about a year old, yeah. yeah. So um, for people who don't know about it, what is it? Break it down. Uh, it's a hair dye company. It's it's color, and it's 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 very expressive, and it's something I'm really passionate about. Um, it kind of became a part of, I guess, what people saw as, you know, it was a part of my identity within the band. Yeah, your persona, right? Yeah, it really was, but, I, but it was very, much more personal to me because it was very emotional, and I thought... Um, I want to, I want to make this a thing. Uh, you know, I want to hopefully empower other people to use these tools that hopefully I'll be able to create well. Um, you know, to to express themselves and maybe we can make something cool out of it. Yeah, but it's really different than a lot of these other cosmetics out there, right? Or yeah. hair dye products. What's different about it? To me, the most important part about it is the community that's built around it. I mean, they're great products. I, I mean, it's it's great quality. But I feel like the mission around it is is even more important. You know, I think that social mission of, you know, just trying to give, I mean, really young people a place to be weird and try new things. Um, you know, it's this healthy way to that they can learn to express themselves maybe in a way they've never tried to before. Um, it certainly gave me an outlet outside of writing. Um, it was something that I needed. And uh I'm, I'm excited to watch this community grow. I mean, like you said, it's it's a year. We're a year in right now, but um, I'm loving what I how I get to witness it every day. I get to witness the community online. How hands on are you as you know this entrepreneur now this new new side of you? Like, how involved in the business are you, and and what have you learned? I'm more involved in the business than I would probably even like to be. I, I I've learned so much. Um, so many things that two years ago I would have said I never really even cared to know because it just sounded boring. But it's become like... Like what? Oh, just, God, just, I mean, process of building a team, vetting labs, you know, number, so many numbers. I hate numbers. I'm a musician. <laughs> I mean, maybe a lot of musicians are great with numbers, but I'm a right. I'm, I like words, you know, and I like singing and my brain doesn't work very mathematically, I don't think. So that's been a huge learning curve for me and, and something I'm still kind of figuring out how to fit into my little brain. But um, but I've, I've found that I am very comfortable sitting at the head of a table talking about strategy and I love marketing and, you know, especially just really creative marketing. And, um, and we're really, we're getting this thing up off the ground. And, and I, it's funny to think that it, it doesn't feel that different than trying to get Paramore off the ground when we were kids. Like it was just what can we put where and how can we be authentic through all of it, you know? I was going to say, like, so tell me if I'm wrong, but, like, it seems like maybe you're so comfortable with all those things because it's just an extension of yourself. Yeah, yeah. And that, I think that's the key. It, 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 I hope that it would be the key for anyone starting 
um, starting a project, whether it's a, a big business or a, or even just a, a passion project, it should be a passion project, I think, no matter what you're involved in. I mean, there's always going to be things that you, you you may not enjoy as other, you know, as much as others, but um, but I, yeah, I, I love it. I, I've, I'm intimidated and I love that. I love the challenge. I mean, meeting with investors was very scary and I thought, I'm, I'm not going to know what to say. And then we got to the first board meeting and I was like, I'm not going to know what to say. And and it's fun, you know. I, I love the challenge, and I love that I sit down and I I do have that moment where I realize, oh yeah, this is just what I love. <laughs>